this is something that you see every day. They sell it on practically every corner now. This is coffee. And you can see me zooming in and out here a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of going over the different uh, parts of the coffee. As you notice, there's some actual pitting in the coffee itself right there. I don't know if you can see that really close up. And strangely enough, it's actually very reflective. Um, normally, I would say when you see coffee, you see it as this kind of dull, kind of matte. But uh, this, a close up when you shine the LEDs on it, let's shift over here a little bit, and we focus in, you get these kind of crystal-like, kind of rigid shapes, which is really interesting considering the fact that when you see a coffee granule, it looks absolutely nothing like this. But when we start to zoom in very finely like this, we can see these ridges and kind of like crystal structures that just go in all different directions. Let's move over here a little bit now. If we go and we can kind of see the side of this one right here. See, I'm using a compound microscope, so you can't really fully see the entire granule because it kind of needs to be on a flat surface. But this works really good for when you can get these chunks that are relatively on the same plane of focus. Yeah, like right here, as you see right here, we have another really nice piece. And this one has a pretty intense pitting towards the bottom, if you notice. It almost looks a little bit like honeycomb. And we have all these different variations of color, too. We have some yellows, and some browns, and some mixtures of it all. And uh, it almost looks like an alien rock. Funny enough thing is I have LEDs pulsing from the top rather than from the bottom. So the complete bottom kind of looks like a black abyss. So it's kind of like you're looking at maybe like an asteroid uh, floating in space. So that's really cool. We also have some little ridges sticking out in the corner right there as well. And then uh, a little bit of a chunk attached right there. Almost by, kind of looks like almost about like just a thread. But it's really interesting to see all the different color variations. Because when you see it from far away, it looks basically like a solid brown. But you get a really nice look the closer that you get. But yeah, so let's move over here a little bit and try to focus in on this small, tiny little piece. Ooh, look at that. Okay, this is really cool. So if you notice right here, it kind of looks like it's just floating. And like I mentioned just a minute ago, the background normally has an LED that shines it from the top so you can see cells. But on this side right here, we have it shining from the top. So you're getting this really nice view of this one. And this is actually a piece that is a little bit broken up. It's a smaller piece of the granule. But when it broke up, it really shattered almost into like a kind of like a glass. It almost looks like those rock candies that you get as a kid. It's very, very interesting. And all the little tiny pieces surrounding it too. It almost looks like uh, an asteroid uh, breaking up as it kind of heads towards Earth. But another really interesting thing about the coffee as well is that, uh, you know, back in the 6th century, a goat herder, actually, I believe, I think, I forget what country it was in, I actually researched this, uh, his goat started eating some of the coffee beans, and it ended up, he tried the coffee beans as well, because his goat liked it so much that uh, that's kind of how coffee in history, apparently, was found. Not sure how true that is, but interesting fact, nevertheless. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.